What's going on, everybody? I'm Primal Liquid, and welcome to my guide for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. As you can see on the right-hand side of the screen, we are going to be talking about the best AP farm in the game. So far, anyway. I imagine there is going to be a better spot than this. However, right now, I have not been able to find it. I've traversed the entirety of the Grasslands and Junon so far. There are still a few other maps for me to look in some corners and so on and so forth. But right now, nothing even comes close to this. So, what do we need? Well, first and foremost, this is best done at the start of chapter 12, okay? The reason being is you cannot do this in chapter 13 or 14. And the reason being is, well, one, you can't fast travel in either of those chapters. But two, at the start of chapter 13, you don't have Kate Sif. So... That is why this has to be done in chapter 12, ideally. So you have fast travel to all the areas and you have all seven characters. Then what you want to do is change their equipment to give you as many materia slots as possible. Now, right now, I've just got a bunch of time materia on there just because, you know, I'm farming Gil and so on and so forth. But for now, this is going to be insane. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to earn about 100 AP every minute, right? However, each individual character is going to be getting that 100 AP. So that 100 AP essentially becomes 700 AP a minute. Now, one thing to note is even though for three individual characters, you will get more AP doing the combat simulator. However... Because in the combat simulator, only the characters who take part in the fight get the AP. That means, ideally, you want to farm on the overworld. I know some people have been doing the uh, the hunting tiles. Unfortunately, they're not very good because you get slowed down during the, uh, the end of the fight, where you have to just wait a few seconds before you can retry and so on and so forth. So we want to farm normal overworld mobs. And the best set for that, okay, is going to be located in Gongaga. Down at the south area near the cliffside itself, storehouse we're going to fast travel to here and then oh one thing i should probably mention actually is the basic setup so for the basic setup you are going to want a fire and ice materia with magnify okay you definitely want the fire and ice materia with magnify this is just so we can kill all the mobs in one spell cast then we have a swift cast materia paired with an ice materia this means anytime we use blizzard it's just going to instant cast which is going to be super super helpful for speeding this up anything else doesn't really matter other than having a first strike materia that is mastered as well that's going to give us one atb bar at the start of every fight now some nice to haves are magic up materia so you do more damage and of course the hp and mp swap materia this is just so we don't have to heal anywhere near as much because obviously healing takes time away from the farm and then you want the choco king's cape but this comes from the gold tournament in the chocobo racing now this is the actual tournament not the gold class races it does start as a side quest in chapter 12 so finish that side quest off and you will be rewarded with this once you win the actual gold cup this basically gives us another full atb slot so now at the start of every fight we're going to have two ATB, which means we can just cast Gar Spells straight away. Then you just want to load every single character up with as much materia as you want. Now, go to the cliffside storehouse, fast travel, and then immediately run up and start a fight with these three enemies right here. We're just going to instantly murder them with Blizzard, and then as soon as we are able to move, we're just going to immediately run south out of the storehouse area and then just outside on the left there's going to be three more mobs that again we want to start the fight with again just use uh blizzard with the swift cast materia super super easy to just murder them instantly now what we want to do is we want to run through the far east okay you can take the pathway however it is actually a little bit slower doing that method instead of this because what we're going to do is we're going to run up here and there's going to be a couple more enemies for us to murder also if you want you can pick up the materials but do be warned it is oops wrong button it is going to slow you down 
Now, for this fight, we're just going to use the fire a spell. It is going to murder everything, so we don't need to waste time using the gar spell. And then after, we're just going to go ahead and fight these grand horns down here. Now, the reason we don't go along the pathway, even though we would kill all the same enemies, is just because it's a bit slower because the pathway bends around. Now, once you've killed all four enemies, okay, well, all four fights, you want to fast travel to another region. It doesn't matter where you go as long as you go to a different region. Once you fast traveled to another region, go back to Gongaga and then again go back down to the cliffside storehouse. This is going to instantly respawn all four fights, so we don't have to wait ages for the mobs to actually come back. But again, just look at the look at the right of the screen. My materia is just constantly going up every single time. Each run takes about a minute, as I said. And since we're earning AP on seven characters instead of just three, you might as well just times that 100 AP by seven, pretty much. This will allow you to master all materia in the game or a couple in less than an hour okay you'll be able to master every single materia in less than an hour except a couple now why do i say except a couple well if we actually just go ahead and look at my materia really really quickly so as you can see just max 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 everything is max now i know there's some that aren't um i haven't really bothered with them because obviously i'm mastering time materia right now to sell for a gill but there are some that take freaking forever, like Swift Cast Materia. The final level for that requires 18,000 AP. So, what I suggest doing, okay, is first and foremost, do your general run, master all your basic materia doing this method. Then, when you get to the really, really slow materia, like Swift Cast, then you want to change your accessory over to the chocobo armband the reason being is all materia in that armband gain triple ap so that would mean instead of 100 ap a run it would be 300 ap a run but then combine the materia in that with ap boost and that 300 becomes 600 ap a run and then you want to use the combat simulator using the grasslands region intel fight just so you can very very swiftly level up those extremely high cost materia after you have already farmed your base materia since they are going to take the longest but though everybody that is going to be it for this video i hope you guys have enjoyed it and i really hope it has helped of course if you know another area with even more mobs close together than this on a fast travel location then by all means let me know and i will 100 percent check it out as always though everybody thanks for watching and i'll see you soon